Good day. We are in Sacramento, California. And here's the American River. Here's Folsom Lake right up there. We're going to go up there in a minute and talk about the American River and then the Sacramento River. And we've got a little course here from the old Sacramento Executive Airport. It used to be the main terminal. And then it was replaced about 25 years or so with this uh, international terminal up here and uh, so the airlines don't go in and out of uh, the downtown terminal anymore now we uh, this is air force base right here sacramento ray bather air force base right there i don't know how active that is i haven't been up there for <laughs> almost 30 years used to work for the Piper dealer up here. So, I'm going to take the uh, TBM, and we're just going to talk about uh, the gold rush. And uh, if you go up here, uh, Colma is right here. That's where gold was discovered at the Sutter Mill. And uh, why it discolors as we go in close uh, has something to do with the satellite. But Colma, right, right in there, was the south fork of the American River. And then the north fork comes down, down this way and uh, goes through Folsom Lake, which when they had the river boats and discovering all that, they didn't have a Folsom Lake. They might have had a little lake in here, but anyway, here's the main, main uh, river of the uh, American River. And it, you can see, flows into the Sacramento River and then heads south. This is the deep water channel coming up. This, uh, Sacramento is a deep, uh, deep water port, and they've got a lot of, a lot of produce, especially uh, uh, the, the uh, rice. I don't think they call that produce, but uh, they raise a lot of rice up north here. And uh, I remember you used to know some friends that had uh, olive ranch. To, uh, uh, olives raised olives up near Corning up north uh, about two thirds of the way up toward Redding which goes up toward Mount Shasta this is uh, north Sacramento Valley going up here and uh, you end up you end up eventually up here in Red Bluff where the uh, olives were raised was right here in Corning get that out of the way so here we come back down uh, the, the Sacramento Valley. One thing that's important up here is the Shasta Lake, huge lake. They said all the water, when it's full, it would cover the whole state of Connecticut with two feet of water. That's some of the trivia I learned when I was flying up around that way. This is the Sutter Buttes here, one of the smallest round mountain ranges in the world. Here's Clear Lake. I used to do a little work over there. Lake Berryessa is right there. And then we got the famous Delta. So this is leading into talking about the, uh, the Delta. And of course, the Delta is fed by the Sacramento River and then another river here. Of course, I could say the American River, but no, it's it, the American River runs into the Sacramento River. Then the Sacramento River comes down, feeds. Here's the Sacramento River going into Sassoon Bay and then San Pablo Bay and then down to San Francisco over there on the left. And we're just going to stop at Rio Vista because uh, otherwise we'd run out of time and I've talked too much. And then after that, uh, the next edition will be running over here towards Stockton. All this, all this area is called the Delta. There's a thousand miles of waterways in here in the uh, Delta system. And it's just a great area for wakeboarding and water skiing and, uh, and uh, jet skis, all, all kinds of stuff uh, like that. Play on the water. And the temperature of the water in here gets a little cool up to the north, and where it, where it gets a little warmer up to, to 70, 70 degrees down here. But it gets a little chilly up here to the north. And so here's the San Joaquin River coming in, flows out, out from 
down south and comes up and exits into the delta right right here and so we'll go over this area later now we're going to click fly and get to flying from sacramento executive airport there's the little cessna 150 can't tell you what city that is it's pretty all the tile roofs there so maybe it's around gibraltar they'd be doing with a cessna over there bravo charlie ready at runway two north departure okay and uh we've got to bring some uh, daylight in here because it's not going to be any fun at night well it might be but let's let's bring it up to close to noon there's McClellan again, and uh, so we'll turn slightly left. We're not going to McClellan. We'll bring the full dash in, move over one, and this is our course line down to Rio Vista, which will follow the main the main channel down down to uh, the Sacramento. But we'll we'll be going along the uh, the old river for the river boats, and of course I mentioned the river the river boats maybe I did uh, river boats and uh, not the Delta Queen no, Delta King the Delta King and Queen uh, were operating uh, back and forth to San Francisco but only the Delta King is there and that's a boutique hotel and we'll fly by that and uh, head south so here we go take the brakes off Turn the turn this on. There we go. Give it a little power. Yeah, good old Sacramento Executive. They have a restaurant in the uh, in the terminal there where you see the tower on the left. There's a uh, nice restaurant in there. Okay, and we'll take a look back. Get the wheels up, get the flaps up, come back on the power because we're not going to go very far here. We'll go, go over a little ways. Again, we're not going to... And we'll tell them okay. Executive Tower Daughter 527 Bravo, Charlie continue for North Departure. So I think this is uh, 99 right here. I called it 66 the other day. Looks like they got three three lanes north and south. And then after we cross over the uh, the Highway 50, and we'll stay down low here. There's Highway 50 coming across right here. And then right up here, I'm going to go ahead and stop. So see if we can spot uh, the fort. I'm just amazed at how small the fort is. You think of it uh, being a big thing, but back in the back in the days, there it is. There it is. There's Sutter's Fort right there. It's a uh, it's about the size of a football field. If that, if that, I don't have a football field to compare it with. But that's the Sutter Fort. And then way up, way up this way, I can't quite see, you can see the American River running up. But Folsom is over, over that way going up toward the, toward the Sierras. So somewhere up in here is uh, where they discovered gold, up in Colma. Okay, let's get back. Uh, we'll run over and take a quick peek at the American River. And then we'll head to uh, 7 Bravo Charlie, leaving my airspace frequency change approved. Executive Tower Dahmer, 527 Bravo Charlie frequency change. And here's the uh, American River. 
Look up, back up at it. It goes over to Folsom Lake. They had river boats on the American River. And we'll come back on the power because we have to drop down to see the uh, the uh, Delta King, which is the Bo Boutique Hotel. And of course, I mentioned the Sacramento River coming down the north, the uh, upper Sacramento Valley, and running out of the Shasta, the headwaters are up by Mount Shasta. This is some kind of utility right here. I thought it was some, some kind of ship. Okay, here we go. And we'll drop down and take a look at the Delta King. The Delta Queen, I think, is not running anymore. It was over on the Mississippi. Generic Fife, Mike Hotel, yeah. contact ground on 125.00. Right there is the Delta King. Here's the, the Twin Tower. And then we'll Going run down. One, two, five, decimal, zero, generic, five, Mike Hotel. We're, we're going to get rid of uh, that town. This is Highway 50 going across. That would not be, that's a satellite that uh, they do that. And uh, the uh, uh, so the Twin Tower had been handcrafted and uh, the Highway 50 had not been handcrafted. So that's what the, the satellite being directly overhead doesn't, doesn't show you uh, the real, what the real, looks like a causeway. Okay, here's the uh, deep water port. And then uh, we're going to drop back out. We're going to head on. The big ships come up there. That has to be about 40 feet deep, the main channel. And they don't have to zig zigzag, which small boats love zigzag. And here's, uh, here's the zigging and the zagging of the Sacramento River right here. So we want to pick, uh, we'll, we'll go with Rio Linda. That won't get us any. Any noise. So this is the, the Delta. Uh, I mean, uh, this is what the levee system does. It, it uh, takes these areas that would be underwater, two, three, four feet of water. If this levee broke right now, it'd probably be under about six feet of water. Six, maybe eight feet. There's the deep water channel right there. So the old river boats used to run here on the Sacramento River. And this probably wasn't as deep as uh, it is uh, today because they have, they have a ten foot, foot levee running along either side. So they can, have, they can have crops on this side and residences on this side. And yeah, the levees have been breached uh, from time to time. They have a term blowing down, so when the storm comes in and the tidal surge, uh, this, this is subject to tidal action up this far. Maybe only about two feet from high tide to low tide. But it's an interesting area. And uh, I... Uh, I never came up this far. My boat was down just below Rio Vista where we're going to terminate this flight. And uh, we... Uh, there's about another 10 miles south is uh, Antioch. And I was in a, a flying, I mean flying club. I was in a yacht club down there. Let's get over so we don't have the sun reflecting into our eyes and Clarksburg a little town you know they they're raising crops and there, there's something for the riverboat to pick up it would uh, that's what that's what it would do and it ran every every night uh, it would would run to San Francisco and there'd be one leaving San Francisco and running up. They had gambling and partying and all kinds of stuff uh, uh, along the way on the riverboats. 
So, uh, oh, looking down in the distance, this is down by Walnut Creek. Uh, Concord is, uh, that's Mount Diablo right down there. And they, they can raise corn in here that, and uh, different, different things. They, they, uh, they have quite a variety. Uh, down this way, there was a guy that was raising pears. And uh, he owned, uh, owned the uh, island. We'll, we'll see if we bring it up. Uh, I, I forget the name of the... They now have weddings and parties, parties there. But uh, it, went, it went bust uh, during the uh, Depression back in the 1930s. And now it's uh, owned by a restaurateur. Um, the, 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 in the 20s and 30s and 40s, uh, it was a stopping off place for movie stars and so forth. It was quite a, quite a spot. And uh, what some of these levees do is they pump the water into these, into these uh, sloughs. This is the Sacramento River, so this I, I don't don't know the name of this slough right here, uh, and I I never went in there. But it, but down here you'll see you'll see the uh, steamboat slough, and uh, that was uh, possibly they they decided they'd have a shortcut uh, from the Sacramento River down to Rio Vista. And here's a, here's another another slough going along there and those look like uh, fruit trees that those could be pears right there so this island right here uh, which is results from the levees being built and this this was steamboat slough and this is a shortcut down and I can't remember the name of the mansion uh, right here but uh, these could be all pear pear trees right here and then we'll get back over to the uh, Sacramento River just after we see this uh, uh, this mansion Grand Island I think it's called Grand Island Mansion and this could be called this could be Grand Island right here yeah this 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 could be it it uh, right in right in there That, that may be the, the, where the residence was, and that's where they have the uh, the uh, weddings, that that sort of thing right now. So now we're going to duck back over to the Sacramento River, and uh, there's a Chinese community right in here called Lock. A lot, of, uh, uh, the for the most part, it was Chinese labor that built the the Delta system. So we'll get right down here to Walnut Grove. And we'll see lock, and then there is a lock, which they close the, with the spring runoff. They don't want too much water going down into the uh, the Delta area, which is straight ahead. We're going to veer off and stick with the Sacramento River, but here's a little town of Locke right there. And uh, pardon the expression, but they have a restaurant called Al Wops. So uh, an Italian guy took over, and again, this is this is uh, Walnut Grove right there. And here's the levee system, which will go down down to uh, Stockton. You can go down through there but we're back on the main part of the river and we'll look over here and see if we can see yeah there's steamboat slough making the straight shot down to Rio Vista and then right over here is a little town of Isleton and Isleton uh, has, has flooded out about seven or eight times so we'll, we'll continue with this uh, little shot here 
And again, before the levees, there was there was the Sacramento River. It's just that all of this in the spring runoff, all this would be flooded. So let's see if we can find Isleton, which has become what I would say has become famous for its its flooding. Uh, and of course, the the levee breaches. This is uh, Highway One One Sixty, which uh, comes a comes out of Antioch. Highway 4 comes over from from uh, uh, toward uh, Concord. It goes on east over to Highway 80. But uh, Highway 4 comes out to uh, Antioch and Pittsburgh and little towns like that. And then uh, right there where you get off at Antioch, the freeway ends. Uh, in a little bit, but uh, Highway 160 comes north. And this is Highway 160, which is a uh, route to, that takes you up to Sacramento. And so right in here is going to be Isleton. And this is, this is uh, I don't know what the name of this slough is, but it's one of the major, major sloughs going down. And here's the little town of Isleton. I say made made famous from all the times seven or eight times it's uh, the the levee is breached breached there and they probably had canneries there in the in the old days so now I'm going to come back on the power because we're going to be landing at uh, Rio Vista we'll take a quick look here at the steamboat slough coming down and here's the here's the the going over toward the deep water channel for the sh for the ships to to go up and uh, and uh, pick up the rice and whatever else they're uh, they're, s they're sending here's the town of Rio Vista Humphrey the whale came came all the way up to Rio Vista that was that was probably 20 years ago now and they had to coax hum hum Humphrey the whale. This probably is uh, about 80 miles from San Francisco. <laughs> whale, whale came in in the Golden Golden Gate. So now I'm going to come back on the power. I'm going to going to slow it down here. We can put the flaps down and the wheels down, and then we should be able to find a runway right here. Oh, and that what I say that Rio Vista is uh, famous for is a guy named Craig Breitlove uh, was uh, has the land speed record, and so that's uh, there. There it is, right there. There we go. Flaps all the way down. We take a quick look out here like this. This is what it would look like if you were if you were flying. Let's do this. Haven't done this in a while. Take this on down, and you start flaring out. And as you pull back with no power, it slows down. And you hold your nose right on the other end of the runway. Just hold it right there. Hold it. Hold it. There it is. We look again. We can do the reverser. There we go. Pedals are still a little twitchy. A little bit glitchy. My rudder pedals. So Rio Vista. Famous for Humphrey the Whale. And whatever they have quite a large uh, retirement community. I can't remember. They've got a golf course. It's uh, it's right right here. And then uh, they've got uh, huge wind farms. Just uh, just about the heading heading we have right now. Well, not quite. It's off to the right a little bit. Let's just let's just pull up here and let these guys 
parkas. Got the got the little machine right there. The, the little uh, tug. So oh, there's the flag flag person right there. Sometimes the flag person there. Sometimes they aren't. So we'll we'll shut her down. And uh, thanks for riding along. And uh, we'll we'll go ahead and uh, investigate. We'll be in a float plane. We'll investigate the rest of the. Uh, the, the Delta, we've just seen a little bit of it, like at Lock is where you can go go through up there and, and uh, start going down the, the Delta and all the sloughs, the waterways are called sloughs. Thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Adios.